All right, you guys. Um, welcome, uh, welcome to class. Apologize. Hangouts was uh, um, not loading up for me. It got stuck, and then I had anyway problems. But glad to glad to be here with you. Um, this hour, we are going to be uh, um, uh, practicing some uh, uh, some situational English, and the situation this time is uh, going to the hairdresser. All right. Now, the uh, link to the class. Link to the class is in the uh, chat box. Okay, go ahead and uh, and open that up. I'll also put it in the Google chat for you. And let's see who we have. Hi, Lily. Welcome back. How are you? Um, fine, thanks. Thank you. Very see good. You. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Laszlo, too. how are you? All right. I'll uh, wait for uh, Laszlo to uh, unmute himself. Uh, Isla, how are you? Hi, Laszlo. Isla. Hi, Chad. Hi, Hi Chad. There. Good morning from here. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Fine. Very well. Great. Good to see you again. All right. And Glady, how are you? Hello, Chad. I am okay. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Uh, Francisco, how are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Excellent. I'm doing good, thank you for asking. Daniela, how are you? Welcome back. Fine. Very good, and Ampado, how you doing? Here we go. Awesome. Okay, you guys, uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and open up the uh, the link. And um, we're going to start off with the uh, dialogue for this one, and then uh, get into uh, vocabulary oh. after. Okay. Um, so this one is is a kind of kind of short. Uh, we're going to read one line each. <clears throat> okay, uh, Lily, let's start with you. I'll uh, start with you here. Read the hairdresser, and then Laszlo will read the next one, and then uh, the next one after that would be. Isla, and we'll go on down the line. Okay, so go ahead and start, yeah. Lily. Hairdresser, uh, what can I do for you today? Customer. Uh, okay. Uh, customer, I'd like cut and color, please. Okay. Do you just want a trim, or are you oh. looking for a new? Uh, Lily, color? Lily, yeah? we're we're just going to read one line, one line each. Okay, oh, okay. Going, going down the line. Um, Isla, no worries, no worries. Uh, Isla, uh, read the next line there where it says okay. Okay. Do you just want a trim or are you looking for a new style? Very good. Thank you. Hamid, let me have you continue uh, with the uh, customer. Well. Okay. Uh, well, uh, my banks uh, could use a trim and I have a lot of uh, split ends. I would like some uh, layers too. Very good. Um, Glady, please continue. Okay, sure. Now about your color. Do you want to hike lines, a full color, or are we just going to touch up our roads? All right, very good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Francisco. Next line, please. Francisco, make sure that you are not muted. All yes, right. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and uh, uh, read that line. I'd like some uh, egg lights and uh, low lights. Okay. This would be high highlights. Highlights. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's go to Daniela. Great. Where do you look for some magazines? while I get your cars mixed. Okay, very good. Um, Amparo? Thanks a lot. Please keep in mind that I don't want to I don't want my hair too short. All right, very good. And let's go back to the top with Lily. Please read the last line. Okay. No problem. Well we'll do the color first and then we'll do your cut. 
I'll teach you how to style it at the end. At the end. There you go. Nice job. Okay. All right, you guys. Uh, please take a look through the dialogue and uh, let me know if there are any words or phrases you do not understand. Oh, there is a lot of vocabulary that I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Well, this is this is the time to uh, to get to know them. All right. Which words, yes. Lily? The first one is a trip. A uh, trip or trim? Trim. trim sorry. Trim. Okay. Trim. A trim. If you see here, okay, she's cutting off just a little bit. Okay. So when you get your hair trimmed, you cut just a little bit off. Okay. It may be maybe an inch. Okay. Oh. Maybe something like that. But you cut just a little. Okay. Understand. Okay. So uh, to. Okay, so it's just a little. You're not, okay, and cutting a whole bunch, but just a little bit, all right? Okay. Uh, next word, any other words? Bang. Bangs, okay, I was uh, waiting for that one. Uh, bangs, where did bangs go? Oh, right here, okay? Bangs. So, uh, female bangs. <laughs> All right, so if we uh, look at this woman here. Your bangs are uh, the, it's the hair that covers your forehead. This part is called the bangs. Okay, okay. so uh, she here, she has long bangs that come down to her eyes. Okay, these are long bangs, long, okay. This may be considered short Okay, somewhat short. All right, but yes, the hair that goes across your forehead or over your forehead, those are your bangs. Okay? Okay. Next question. Uh, layers. Okay. Oops. All right, so layers. All right, this is a good one. Okay, so layers. You see how it, in her hair it comes down and uh, one part stops here and then you have another one that comes oh. down a little bit further. Okay. okay? So, uh, and that can happen throughout the hair. Um, this one, no, no. This may be another type of layer, kind of not my favorite layer looking but yeah so having some some that are short some that are longer okay so okay. it creates it creates some uh, some sort of a style okay um, so those would be uh, those would be layers okay okay, okay. any uh, any other questions yeah so, okay okay yes. when in the question said do you want highlights Yes. A full color, what that means? A full color? A full color means that I would like to change my hair, which is uh, sort of blonde right now, to all black. Ah, okay. okay. Because so I know what it means. Completely change. Completely okay. change it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so change my hair to black or change your hair to red. Okay, completely change all of your hair. Okay, um, highlights. Let's uh, let's see here for those of you that may be a little timid in asking. Okay, um, hair highlights. Don't ask me why I know so much about hair, you guys. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, hair. Okay, so uh, highlights. This would be uh, a good example of highlights. Okay, so different colors throughout the hair. Okay, another another style of highlights. Now, in in here, it says, uh, um, or are we just going to touch up your roots? Okay, when you change, 
when you change your hair color, ladies and gentlemen, okay, that uh, that uh, colors a part of your hair for a time, but your hair grows, right? So down here, okay, where your hair is coming out of your head, that is called the root. Okay, so um, let me see if I can get a good picture here. Um, Roots. Let's see if that brings me. Okay, here's a great example. So she is not an actual blonde. Okay, you see how it's dark? It's coming in dark right here. This would mean that she needs to touch up her roots. Okay, touch up the roots because it's coming in uh, dark. Her original hair color is uh, is coming back, and so she needs to color that. Okay, that is to touch up the roots. All right. Any other questions? And uh, low high, low light. Uh, low lights and highlights. Okay. So, uh, so highlights would be uh, would be um, uh, nice and bright. Okay. Low lights would be not as um, not as uh, how would I say? Not as uh, as visible. They're there, but uh, you can't really tell. So you remember when we looked at highlights here? Okay, so highlights and low lights. Brown. So we have a. Okay, so let's see. So highlights would be would be this. You can definitely tell. You can definitely tell that there has been a change to the hair. Okay. Low lights may be something like this. Okay. Where it looks fairly natural, but you're 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 highlighting uh highlighting parts of it. Okay. It looks fairly natural. You can't you can't you when you look at the hair, you go, Oh yeah, well she gets her hair colored. Okay. So you you don't really you can't really tell. Okay, those would be those would be low lights. Okay? All right. Any uh, any other questions? No, thank you. All right. All good. Okay. Let's uh, let's uh, analyze some of these phrases here as well. All right. So uh, coming down here. Okay. Um. As as usual. Okay, we have uh, um, uh, a lot of the same phrases. Hey, how you doing today? What brings you in? Okay, as well as um, this phrase for when you go to either the barber shop or uh, the hairdresser or salon. Uh, so, what what are we going to do with your hair today? Okay, that uh, that would be a typical question. So, what are we going to do today, or what are we going to do with your hair today? Okay, they want you to tell them how you want it cut. Okay, that's uh, that's basically uh, what they're asking here. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's take a look at these next uh, next sentences. Um, Leandro, how you doing? Leandro, can you hear me? Okay, let's go to Laszlo. Yes, teacher. Laszlo, please read these uh, these mm. questions down below. Okay. Do you just want to trim or, or are you looking for a new style? Are we just doing a simple cut today? Are you looking for something different today or do you just want a trim? How much do you want off? Are you looking for a change? Okay. All right. Very good. So, um, of these here, okay, a simple cut or just a trim, those would be uh, those would be uh, synonymous. They would mean the same thing, okay. And uh, and you could walk in and just say, yeah, I, I'm I just need a trim. Okay? <coughs> You're not you wouldn't be uh, you wouldn't be changing your style. Okay, all you're doing is getting uh, getting some of it cut. Okay, you're trimming it, or 
you can say, I just want a simple cut. Okay, I just want or I just need. Uh, let's see. A, okay, a simple cut. Now, uh, down below the bottom of those, um, here's this question. How much do you want off? What do you guys think that means? How much do you want off? How long do you, want? do you want? Amount of. Okay, good. Okay, uh, amount uh, uh, amount of hair. How long do you want it? How uh, how much do you want me to cut? Is basically yeah. what they're they're asking. How much hair do you want me to cut off your head? They're not asking uh, how much of a discount do you want off of the price, okay, or anything like that. They're asking how long you want your hair, okay, um, and. Uh, <clears throat> typical uh, typical uh, responses. You can show them with your fingers. Okay, you can say, um, you know, I, I want a lot off. Uh, take a, take a few inches. Okay, now an inch is about that much. Okay, this would be half an inch. Okay, so we work with uh, inches in the United States. I don't know what's a, what do they use in Canada, Lily? Lily, in Canada, do they use inches um, or do they use uh, centimeters in meters? Uh, I, I, inches, what inches is? Uh, inches, uh, inches is a, uh, so in the chat box here, Hammett uh, uh, put in what uh, yeah, in uh, one okay. inch would be. Okay, but do it's depend of uh, person, but uh, most of the time they use inches. Okay, so they use inches. Yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, we use uh, we use inches and feet and whatnot in uh, yes. in the United States as well as in uh, in uh, Canada. Okay, uh, yes. most places throughout the world they use uh, centimeters and meters. Okay, mm -hmm. and kilometers and whatnot. Not, okay, so um, you can show them if you don't if you can't remember the word, you're like I I uh, uh, this much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you, if you want to just say this much um, uh, uh, across the bottom. Yeah, but be careful. But sometimes they are, they all, always cut uh, more than you want. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> yes. Okay. So so yeah, you can say this much off the bottom, and uh, like Lily said, okay, you always want to go maybe a little bit shorter. Okay, so this much yeah. <laughs> off the bottom, and you'll probably get that much. Okay, mm. so um, so that's how we would say that, uh, ladies. Uh, off the bottom, if you have longer hair. Okay, uh, guys would say off the top. Okay, I'm mm. looking for about this much off the top. Now, ladies, if you have short hair, uh, you would say the same thing, okay? Um, if, if you have short hair, maybe like mine, maybe a little bit longer, okay? Uh, this much off the top or off the sides, okay? Uh, things like that, okay? So bottom would be back here, cross, top, sides, okay? All right, um, and... This last, the last question here, are you looking for a change? Now, um, I believe the other day we, uh, we were talking about ordering at a, uh, at a restaurant, okay? Uh, ordering at a restaurant, and, uh, and we, we could ask the server, what do you recommend? Okay, what do you recommend? And uh, um, we can do sort of the same thing with a hairdresser, okay? So um, if you say, I'm sort of looking for a change. Okay, if you say, I'm sort of looking for a change, um, you could say, what do you think I should do? Or do you have any recommendations? Can we say suggestion? Uh-huh. Do you have any recommendations or suggestions? Uh-huh. Okay. Either either way. 
So what do you think I should do? Or do you have any advice? Uh, suggestions, you could use advice, advice um, or recommendations. Okay, so if you if you are looking for a change or something different, all right. Uh, I had a uh, when I was playing music, um, uh, pretty much full time. I had a hairstylist that I that I went to, and uh, I would walk in there. Um, what was her name? Oh, I forget. Anyway, I would sit down on the chair, and she said, hey, Chad, how you doing? I said, great. And she said, what are we going to do today? And I would say, whatever you want to do. And uh, she uh, she loved it. I loved it as well because she would come in, and she would do all sorts of fun things uh, with my hair, and it was fun. And uh, and and uh, it was pretty cool. So I would say, whatever you want to do. Some hairdressers like that, okay, especially if you're like me, and you're like, I don't care. You do something. You show me how to style it, and I'll do that. Okay, um, um, but other hairdressers they want you to tell them. Okay, so just be aware, be aware of that. If you go in and you say whatever you want to do, they'll be like, uh, 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 uh. Okay, they wouldn't know what to do. Some hairdressers are really, really good, and they can look at someone's head, okay, and their style, and say, maybe let's try this, okay, and they would do something, and that's always really, really fun, okay. Uh, but yes, when you're looking for a, for a change, okay, to do something different, okay, you can also say, I'm looking to do something different with my hair, okay. Uh, uh, to do something different with my hair, <clears throat> excuse me, with my hair, okay, instead of change, different with my hair, okay. Either way, you're looking for recommendations on what... Uh, what they would uh, would do, okay? And you can ask them as well, and uh, you may look through some magazines and see what kind of things you want to do. All right, uh, let's go to our next grouping, and this is for uh, for Isla. Yeah. Go ahead and read My, those, please. Okay. My bands could use a trim. My bands are in my face. I need my bands trim it. I'm not going to grow my bands out after all. All right. Grow my bangs out. Okay. Grow my bangs out. Yeah. What do you think that means, Isla? <laughs> that it's not going to. Um, um, I know what it means in Spanish, but I can't say it. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm not going to grow my bangs out. Okay, that would mean that you don't want to let your hair grow. Okay, in that spot, in the uh, uh, you, the bangs. Remember, the bangs are in the front of your of your head, and they and they can cover your forehead. Okay, now um, it, you do, this doesn't only work with bangs. You can say, I'm not going to grow my hair out after all, my hair. There was a, there was a time when I was trying to, I was trying to grow my hair a, a little bit longer. And um, you, when you're doing that and you're a guy, you go through some really ugly stages and it's really, really uncomfortable. Um, and so it got to the point where I was like, Ah, I, I I can't handle this. This is this is terrible looking. And uh, I told, oh, her name was Sheena. There it is. So I told Sheena, I said, hey, I'm not going to grow my hair out after all. It's too uncomfortable. I can't handle it. And then uh, she laughed. So grow my hair out. Grow my bangs out. Okay. If you say, I'd like to grow my hair out. Okay. If you say I'd like to grow my hair out, that means you want it to to grow, right? So you want it to be longer. Okay. Or you say I'm growing my hair out, so I don't want to cut too much. Okay. So I don't want to cut too much. That's a um, a good way to say I, I want to trim as well. Okay. If you're looking to um, if you're looking to uh, let your hair grow. 
Okay. All Sorry. right. Um, yes. Uh, bounce out the the two letters means all my hair, but if I if I take just bands, is the front of my head. It's okay? Yes, uh, the bangs are just the front of your uh, of your uh -huh. head. But if I use uh, the two words bands out together, it means that all my hair. Um, no, it, out, out goes with grow my. Ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's a it's a phrasal uh, uh it's a phrasal uh, verb here. Okay, so grow my blank out. Okay, grow my hair out. Grow my uh, fingernails out. Okay, grow my um, armpit hair out. Okay, uh, you can grow grow out uh, different things. It does not necessarily have to be uh, um, your bangs. Okay, bangs is just placed in here because that's what you want to grow out. Okay, I get it. Okay, Thanks. all right. So uh, yeah, no problem, no problem. Okay, um, now uh, for guys. Okay, for guys. So right now, uh, personally, I need to get another haircut. Okay, why? Because my hair, I don't like it when my hair touches my ears, okay? And plus, I have some funky things that are sticking up in the middle, okay? <laughs> so for guys, okay, we don't like it when it touches our ears. So what, what, do, what do we say? Can you take it up off my ears? Okay, uh, take it up, bring it up. Okay, bring it up off my ears. Okay, things like that. So um, when when we say uh, how much to cut off the top, we're talking about this part here. Okay, so I'd like about uh, this much taken off the top, and uh, and also it's uh, it's on my ears. Can you uh, can you take this, take it up off my ears? Okay, so you want you want it to shave. Some sometimes they they know that. Sometimes they don't. Okay. Now, also another hint for for guys. Okay, if you have ever had your hair cut by someone who is really good and they use scissors. Okay. Okay. You can suggest. Okay, or always ask for someone to do it with scissors. I do not like the machine. Okay, the machine is the and it cuts through your hair. Okay, I don't like that because it leaves it looking really, really uh, um, too too nice. I don't like that. That is that the hair cutting machine. So uh, you can request to have them do it with scissors. Sometimes if they are uncomfortable with that, say, "All right, if you're uncomfortable, I'll go find someone else that can do it." Right? Uh, but that would be one suggestion. Uh, with uh, with females. Okay, usually your hairdresser is going to be awesome with scissors, with the clippers, with uh, with anything. All right, so um, it's only usually for us guys. A lot of times uh, when uh, when the hairdresser cuts our hair, they like to use the machine uh, that clipper. Okay, because it's faster and it's easier. Okay, if you don't like that look, don't be afraid to ask for it. Okay, all right, let's go to our next grouping here. Uh, this is for Hamid. Okay. Now about your colors. Let's discuss your um, colors. Oh, sure. Okay, let's do that one. That's fine. Go ahead and, okay. and read that last one. Okay. Next, let's talk about the colors. Okay. So your your color, okay, that's going to be uh, the dye, dyeing of your hair. Okay, and we talked about highlights, lowlights, and uh, what's that last one? Um, a oh, goodness, I forget. What? A full color. That's what it is. A full color. Okay. So highlights, lowlights, full color. All right. And and you can really pick any color that you want. All right. So when you're talking about um, um, your color, okay, that's when you talk about highlights, lowlights, or changing the whole color of your hair okay and uh, your response your response would be okay one of these so let's go to Glady 
Lady, uh, please read these sentences. Okay. I would like some high highlights and low lights and a more modern look and more professional style. Something easy to to carry for. Uh, to go dark for the winter. To go a bit lighter than usual. Usual. You touch up my words. Okay. All right. So uh, we talked about touching up the roots. Okay, that's when your 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 color is starting to grow out and your natural hair is coming in. Okay, um, a more modern look. What does modern look mean? Anybody know what modern look? Uh, fashion style. Okay, a uh, fashionable and in fashion style. Yes. Okay, so uh, today's style. Common uh, style. Yeah, something that's going on today. All right. How about uh, so? Let's uh, let's look at some. So, a modern style for today. Two thousand modern hairstyle. Okay, so these would be some modern hairstyles for today. Okay, so uh, maybe a short a short look. Okay, the dirty frizzy look, things like that. Okay, I guess curls are in. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so you can get a modern look. Okay, our next one here is professional. What do you think a professional style would be like, you guys? Skillful. Uh, I think it's more simple but elegant. Uh -huh. Yeah, simple, elegant. Uh, Amparo said formal. Okay. All right. So, uh, so uh, something that you would wear when you go to uh, to work in a professional setting. Um, it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be great to go to work looking like this. Okay. If you were uh, if you were in a professional setting, that wouldn't be uh, that wouldn't be proper. Nor would it be proper to uh, uh, to go in like this or even like this, doing it too fancy. Okay, that's that's a little too fancy. Okay, but um, so a professional look. Okay, pro professional hairstyle. Some of these are not. Okay, uh, this would be just fine. Okay, to go to work looking uh, looking like J Lo. Okay, um, yeah. pulled pulled back. Okay, maybe maybe with uh, something like that. This would be a. Uh, a professional hairstyle as well. Okay. Um, yeah, something uh, something simple, something elegant. Okay. Uh, not all of these are going to be professional, but uh, but yeah, definitely. Uh, basically, um, something that is not too flashy, not too flashy, not too showy. So you don't want pink hair. Okay, you don't want pink strikes coming down or anything like that, or anything that that it's really odd. Okay, so yeah, nice, elegant, um, you know, beautiful things like that for guys. Okay, uh, guys' professional style is usually going to be a uh, a straight uh, a straight cut. Okay, you can do other uh, other certain things, but you don't want like crazy things coming out of the back of your hair. Okay. Um, you can, you know, spike it up sometimes, seem, things like that. But again, you're not looking to uh, draw a whole bunch of uh, attention to yourself. It's a professional style. It's more conservative. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, something easy to care for. Uh, what do you guys think this would mean? Something easy to care for. Just simple. <laughs> Simple. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ladies, have you ever had a hairstyle where you're like, why did I get this? It takes me two hours to do my hair, right? Have, have any of you ever had a hairstyle that was very complex, very difficult? No. No? Okay. My, my wife has had one and where she had to straighten it and it took her forever and I'm sitting there going, we need to go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it, I, it, uh, it takes a while. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, yes, was uh, two hours for cutting my hair. 
<laughs> Not simple. Yeah. Hours, yes. Yeah. Oh, takes takes a while. Yeah. Takes a while. And All chat, right, so uh, some... for example, uh, yes. in wedding day or another special day, a woman uh, spends a lot of time in hairdresser. Yes, definitely. Definitely on wedding day or special days, things like that. Definitely because they want to uh, make uh, make their hair look beautiful and fancy. Mm. Okay, that's maybe yes. my only my only days that I was. It took a long time. Oh really? When uh, when you when you were uh, married, yeah, you had something yes. special done to your hair. Very yeah. cool. But because uh, right. actually, I I do my I prepare my hair by myself. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Very good. Um, yeah. So something easy to care for is uh, it's a simple hairstyle that does not take you very long to do. Okay. Um, and then uh, you can say lighter. Okay. So if you want a uh, lighter color, okay, um, mm -hmm. something that uh, makes your hair not look as dark, you can ask for lighter or uh, something darker. Okay, if, if you have lighter hair like mine, you may want something darker. Okay, so those would be a, um, a different type of requests that you can make. Okay, mm -hmm. um, all right, so uh, let's see this last one right here. Let's go to Lady um, Francisco. Let me have you read um, these last sentences right here, please. Uh. I will teach you how to style it at the end. Lastly, uh, I will teach you to style it yourself. Before you go, I will teach you how to style in at home. Okay, very good. So uh, this is an important step. Okay, that the hairdresser shows you how you can do your hair and some simple steps to do it. Okay, so that's what this means. I'll teach you how to style. Okay, how to style your hair or how to do your hair. Okay. Now, um, one uh, one phrase that I thought up. Uh, this is uh, definitely uh, an, an idiom. Okay, um, that you may hear in um, in urban uh, urban areas. Okay, and it's it may still be used. It may not be um, in movies. You may hear it as well. Uh, but someone goes to uh, the hairdresser to get their hair did. Okay, so uh, yeah, I I just need to go get my hair did. Okay, my hair did. Now what that means is that they are going to do their hair. They're going to have either someone do it or they are going to do it themselves. Meaning that they're going to style the hair. Okay. Um, so if you hear uh, "get my hair did," okay, uh, it is supposed to be said that way. It's com it's grammatically incorrect. It's terrible, uh, terrible grammar. But that's what it means. Okay, to uh, either go to the hairdresser and have a hairdresser style uh, style the woman's hair. A guy would not say that. Okay, um, uh, but a woman would. And, or uh, or uh, go to your house and, and do it yourself. Okay, get my hair did. Okay. Um, now, in uh, in many uh, uh, salons or or uh, uh, places to get your your hair done. Okay, they'll have a lot of magazines and whatnot, and they and they'll say, yeah, take some time, look through magazines. Uh, I'll be with you in a second or whatever. So, and that's uh, that's pretty standard. Okay, all right. So, uh, any questions so far before we get to some uh, extra vocabulary words? Chad. Yes. I have a question. Sure. Um. In when they say I love I like some layers. Mm -hmm. I like some different left. Lengths. How I pronounce? Lengths. Okay. Okay, and so this is uh, pronounced length. The, uh, the E-N-G is actually pronounced A-N-K. Okay. Okay. Length or, or lengths. 
Okay, so that's how we would pronounce that. Okay. Okay. Any other questions here? All right, let's uh, take a look at uh, some vocabulary words. Now, um, when, you, uh, when you go to uh, the uh, hairdresser, okay, a uh, few things uh, can be done. All right, you can color your hair. We've talked about uh, uh, coloring, so changing the color or adding highlights or lowlights. Wash, okay, so uh, when, you, uh, when you go to the hairdresser, this is my part. Okay, so you usually get a wash and you, a head massage. Oh, the head massage is the greatest thing ever invented. I oh, love yeah. it. <laughs> okay, washing hair at a salon. It's the only reason why I like to go to a hairdresser, honestly. Okay, so when, uh, when you go to a salon, they usually wash your hair and you get a head massage and... Oh. I it's think they teach me. this or something. <laughs> yes, it is the greatest thing ever. Yeah. It is so awesome. And for me, I, I love, um, I, I love just like the, like getting my head massage. I don't know. I can't explain. It. I love it. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's great. So this is the wash. So you you've got uh, um, things things to use there. You uh, you lean back, and this is how they do it. Okay. Um, Let's go to cut. Okay, that's uh, uh, the verb. Okay, what what they do? They cut your hair. Okay, and then style. This is how you design or or make your hair look afterwards. All right. So we have some words. Okay, in a list here. Okay, in two in two lists. Sorry, two columns. Um, I would like for you uh, to uh, read the word and tell me where it belongs. Okay, under the color section, the wash mm -hmm. section the cut section or the style section and we already have some of them selected so color bleach toner uh, foil okay wash you have conditioner and the sink uh, cut they would use a spray bottle to spray your hair get a little bit more moist okay and style curl and perm okay if you don't know what a word means please let me know and we'll take a look at a picture alright mm -hmm. so let's start off with Daniela Okay. And our first word here. Uh, go ahead and read that and tell me where it belongs. Scissors. Okay. That is pronounced mm -hmm. scissors. 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 Uh huh. And where would that go under color, wash, cut, or style? Cut. Good. Yes. Yeah, so uh, this would go under cut. Okay. Mm -hmm. These here are scissors. That's what they use. Okay. Very mm -hmm. good. Let's go to uh, Andrea. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Good. Uh, please read our next word and tell me what, what category it uh, goes under. A cap. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, so, let's see here. Cap at the hair dressers okay and we'll see if we can get uh, a good picture here okay so when you are when you are uh, coloring your hair or uh, or drying it or something like that you would yeah. wear what would be called a cap oh, okay, okay this here is a cap okay sometimes they pull it through and that's how they do highlights Oh, yeah. Okay, that is a cap. Okay, so yeah. Uh, yeah, where where would this word need to go? Uh, style. Okay, it could go under style, but uh, it would be when oh, you are yeah. preparing for the style when you color. Okay, yes. very good, very good. Okay, let's go to uh, our next word, and uh, this is for Amparo. Cam. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, that B is silent. Comb. Comb. Mm hmm. Um, style. Um, cut. Okay. 
Now, this would go under cut. Uh, the main reason is uh, because usually you would use a brush uh, to, uh, to style. Okay? okay, so let's take a look here, you guys. Uh, a comb. Okay, this is what a comb looks like. Oh, here we go. So a comb and a brush. This is great. So uh, this right here is a comb. And this is a brush. Okay. This one here would also be considered a brush. So when it has multiple teeth and it's uh, kind of wider like that, that would be a brush. These that are smaller and only have one line of uh, teeth, that would be a comb. Usually... When they are cutting your hair, they use um, they use a comb, all right. Then afterwards, you can use a brush because that gives your hair a little bit more volume. Okay, a, a brush uh, a brush uh, kind of makes your hair poofy in some in some ways, and uh, a, a comb kind of directs things. Men usually use combs. We can also use brushes. It doesn't really matter which which one you use. I actually use my fingers. Uh, I haven't used a brush or a comb in about 12 years, um, but yeah, okay. So that that would be the difference. So comb would be under under cut, okay, and style would be or sorry, brush would be under style, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to our next word. So we're skipping over brush here, and let's go to Lily. Yes. Our next word, please. Shampoo. Yeah. It's, and where uh, would that go? Yes, for washing. <laughs> for washing, yes. Okay. All right. For those of you who aren't clear of what shampoo is, okay, it's used for washing your hair. Okay. Uh, it makes the suds in your hair, okay, just like this, washing your hair. That, that would be shampoo. Okay. Um, our next word. This is for Laszlo. Uh, trim. Uh, okay, cut. that would be a, a short eye. A short eye. Trim. Trim. There you go. And uh, yes, cut. you're right. Undercut. Cut. Okay. Excellent. Uh, let's go to Isla. Our next word, please. Highlight. Very it's good. Color. Yeah color excellent job so highlights okay Hamid our next word please love light uh, I guess color yes that would be a color as well okay now uh, foil all right so um, for for those of you who don't know what foil is there it is Okay, um, when you uh, are highlighting your hair, you have to use what's called foil, and it's like pieces of metal. Okay, you see this here, this shiny thing? This is this is foil. Generally, aluminum foil. Yeah, aluminum aluminum foil. Okay, but uh, yes, this is uh, if you are a guy and you've never seen this. Uh, this happen, okay? This is what women have to go through to make their hair look like this, okay? So <laughs> uh, it's not all fun and games, all right? Okay, very good. Let's go to uh, our next word, and this is for Glady. Hello. A conditioner? Um, we're going to skip the conditioner. Because that's already placed under wash. Okay. Uh, the word right underneath that that does not have a check mark right here. Okay. Mirror. Yeah, mirror. Yes. Mirror is on style. Okay. It could go under style as well as under cut. Yeah, so, cut. Yeah. Yeah, it could go under both of those. Yeah. Right? Because you'll, uh, you'll need to see... Uh, uh, or the uh, hairdresser will need to see in the mirror as they cut your hair, and then you will when you uh, style it. Okay. Yeah, now yeah. The, the next word here is perm. Let me uh, show you. Uh, show you guys. Is okay. 
Okay. Um, yeah, this would this this would be like a perm. Okay, you see how it's really really curly. Okay, that would be a perm. You have other perms. This would be a perm as well. Okay, you see how it's really 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 curly. Okay, that's a that's a perm. Um, this would be no, those would be curls. Yeah, so perm is that this this guy is crazy, and yes, this is a perm. Okay, as well, it kind of puffs out. All right, now that's what we would call a perm. It's uh, not as uh, as popular anymore. It was mainly popular in the '70s and '80s into the early '90s. Okay, our next word. Uh, this is for uh, Francisco, right here, please. Uh, blow dry. Yeah, I blow think, dry. I think his style. Okay. Yeah, for when they style your hair. Okay, so after they wash and they cut it. Okay, then you go ahead and style, style it. Okay, and this is a blow dryer. Okay, this is what we call a blow dryer. Okay. All right, uh, spray bottle. Okay, this is what uh, uh, sprays out water. I don't even. I don't know how to call this in Spanish, so I'm gonna go to my Spanish people. Um, whoops. Should be bottle. What do you call this in Spanish? Because I was looking for one the other day, and I had no clue what to say. Atomizador. Atomizador? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yep. Why? <laughs> so, op optimizador. Yes, optimizador. Okay. All right, interesting. Okay. All right, very good. Thing. Brazil. Spray, okay. See, that would make sense. All right, I, try, I tried everything. I was like, spray, spray. <laughs> <laughs> they don't understand me. That's crazy. All right. Okay, next word. This is for Daniela. Yeah. Uh, okay, next word right here. Towel. Uh-huh. Um, I think it's after wash. Yeah, so after wash, to dry off your hair. Yeah. Okay, dry off your hair. Good. Now, when we, uh, when we wash our hair, you put your hair in the sink. Okay, uh, so um, this would be a sink as well in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. All right, but uh, a hairdresser sink is just a little different. Okay, it has uh, a little place where you can stick your neck, and your in the you put your head down down there, and that's how they wash your hair. This is called a sink. Okay. Um, all right. Our next word here, this is for Andrea. Okay, uh, shave is for cut. Okay, yeah, good. Shave, cut. Okay, and that's sort of like trim as well. They would shave a little bit off. Okay. That's All shave right. only for men. Uh, shave, uh, shave can uh, can be for men, but it can also be for for uh, women. In some cases, if you uh, are shaving, um, maybe the back part of your neck or uh, uh, things like that. Okay, you can use shave. Okay? okay, but yes, you are correct. It's usually used for men. Okay, our next word, please, Amparo. Cape. Mm -hmm. Color, wash, and cut. There you go. Color, wash, and cut. So this thing here that they put on you so that so that your your clothes do not stain or so that you don't get hair all over yourself, that is called a cape. Okay? All right, next word here. This is for Lily. Here, yeah. shop. It's for cut. Okay, yeah, cut. Okay, to chop. Chop it. If you go in and you say, I want to chop it all off, okay? Chop it all off means that you want very short. Okay? Chop it all off. I want very short hair. Okay? Um, next uh, next word is for Laszlo. 
hairspray, I think the style. Okay, yeah, style. All right, hairspray uh, makes your hair uh, kind of uh, a little bit more crispy uh, so that it stays in place. Okay, hairspray. All right, and our last word here. This is for Isla. Moose. Style. Yeah, moose style. Now, moose is more of like a, uh, a cream, kind of. Okay, so um, hairspray is, is a liquid. Moose is, uh, is a, uh, a cream that you would use for styling. Oh, that's the food. It is white. Okay, yeah, it's white. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Okay, moose. All right, and you use that for your hair. Okay, for styling. Okay, you guys, uh, I'm a little over time right now, but uh, thank you for coming to class. I hope you learned uh, learned some new words and some new phrases to use um, uh, when you are to go to the uh, the hairdresser. All right. All right. Uh, my next class is a speaking. Uh, an entirely speaking class will be answering uh, uh, job interview questions in English. Okay? All right, you guys. Okay. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.